The Reading Railroad was primarily an anthracite coal hauling railroad that linked the ports and markets of Philadelphia to the anthracite coal regions of Pennsylvania in Pottsville. In Rail Fanning the Reading Volume 1, we'll look at steam and diesel, freight and passenger operations from the late 1940s to the mid 1960s. We'll tour the Bethlehem, East Penn, and Perky Omen branches, as well as joint operations of the CNJ in the Allentown Bethlehem area, facilities at East Penn Yard, and the coal regions. While typically being a coal hauler, the Reading was probably most noted for its iron horse rambles and the T1 locomotives that pulled them. Along with regular steam and diesel operations, we'll look at some of the Reading's iron horse rambles. There's an eastbound steam freight at East 3rd Street. There's the Bethlehem Steel headquarters in the background. Double-headed steam, probably the star coming east. Now we're at Bethlehem Station, westbound passenger coming in there. The 5510, 5502 at 482 with a unit train heading down the Lehigh Valley Hall to East Penn on the valley. There he comes underneath Dalton Street in Emmaus, dropping down into Emmaus Junction. The 1754 backs down with 060, 1451 trailing. You go through Tamaqua today, you can't imagine that there was so much railroad there. There's a Reading Mallee on a coal train at St. Clair. There's a 3,000 lead the freight that's going to be pushed by that Mallee. Those Malleys were so impressive. The westbound ramble passes under Route 61 at Port Clinton. Next we see the Ramble coming up grade at Mossdale. And so we end our little trip over to Reading. What a better way to end it.